Okay, so my other video with Zoom didn't go off so well because my screen wasn't as big as I wanted it to be because I was using this computer and I hadn't checked on make the speaker be the person in the forefront and so therefore my video didn't come out the way I was hoping it would. But I've got uh, everything kind of set up again to where I can quickly explain what I was trying to explain before. So I've got a um, computer here that would have, for instance, my software on it for real time. And I'm going to need to get the audio <coughs> from a Zoom device of some sort, presumably another computer. And so if we assume that the computer I'm speaking on is the Zoom computer, I need to have a audio source coming from the computer I'm speaking from into this computer over here. So what I um, do is I would have this particular headset on and I would have my audio coming out and I'm gonna pick up the camera here and turn it around real quick. This is the device that I use with my headset and you can see that I've got a green and a pink uh, attachment that goes into a USB audio device and then I have a USB audio extender uh, or USB extender plug because if you try to use this large device and plug it into a USB port sometimes you have issues because you will be able to, you won't be able to plug in perhaps to the other USB that might be over here to where you've wasted a port so this extender allows me to um, extend this away from the USB device and I don't worry about this thing taking up two USB spots and then I can't plug in something else so I would split right here with a splitter something like this I would use an audio splitter and I would plug it right here I would unplug this and I would plug this splitter into here now you notice I've got a tip on here what that is is because on my recording device sometimes or on this particular one I use the zoom h1n tape recorder when I plug the stereo plug into it it doesn't output to both of these tips and so I have a mono to stereo and the way you can tell the difference between mono and stereo if you look closely here you can see one of them has only one black ring and one of them has two black rings the one that only has one black ring is a mono tip the one that has two black rings is a stereo tip so by plugging this into here it makes the signal go into both outputs <coughs> so I've got this tip plugged into the device that I was showing you where my headphone is and I unplug the green tip and I plug one green tip into here so I can still listen to the zoom through my headset and then the other tip is going to be audio coming out also so instead of just listening to my headphones I've got one for my headphones which is the green tip that I showed you before that I would unplug and then I'm going to take an audio cable like this I'll plug it into the other side so this is going to be my audio coming out of my zoom device and it's going to be my headphones because my headphones are going to be listening to the zoom 
is going to come into here to my splitter. <coughs> I'm going to keep the other one plugged into the other side there because remember I want to be able to tell them if I can't hear or whatever and so if you look again here is what I'm talking about I'm going to unplug this one this is my audio sound that I'm listening to through my headset I'll plug that splitter into there and then I'll plug this into that splitter and I'll take the other green tip and plug it in to the other side so you just pretend that my headset would be plugged into here this is plugged into that USB uh, plug so now I've got audio coming out of here I'm going to take the other end of that and that will plug into my uh, audio in which is going to be on my zoom I'm going to be looking for line in and it will plug in there to my line in because remember this is the zoom audio coming from the zoom uh, computer and by the way I prefer to have two computers instead of just one or uh, you could have an iPad and I might show that here in a second <clears throat> so I've got my zoom audio coming into my recorder so now I need coming out of my recorder which is my line out I'm gonna have sound coming out of here so I'll need a second audio cable which will be kind of another green one that's what I've got I'll plug it into my audio device then I've got audio out from my my zoom I've got coming out of here on this side I need to put this somewhere this is the tip that I plug into my USB Andrea and you see my tip again I've got that extender on it the other nice thing about that is it avoids me plugging in this USB tip all the time and unplugging it so if I want to something to break I'd rather have this tip break right here on this end instead of my USB Andre USB plug these little short things are I think they're six inches maybe uh, they're not very expensive they're they're kind of worth their weight in gold I have several of these that I use when I've got a USB tip that's that's wide so now I've got <coughs> the audio coming out of my tape recorder I'm going to plug it into the USB Andrea plug which is going to be right here which is the pink side because that's the microphone side then I can plug this into my court reporting software be it Case Catalyst, Eclipse or whatever that can do audio sync or audio recording I'll plug this into my computer over here I'll start my real time and I've got the audio coming from my computer that's that's doing the zoom coming out of there into here and then going out of my recorder into here now if you don't want to have the recorder here you can just strict strictly unplug all of that and you can just have your audio coming out of the zoom computer and have it go perhaps straight into a USB Andrea or if your computer has the ability to just plug directly into the computer you can plug directly into the computer your audio and see that you've got sound coming in and you're good to go <coughs> another option that you could do is uh, if you have an iPad you could take your iPad and set it up in front of the witness if you're doing like a deposition and you're not doing court per se you're in deposition mode you can have your iPad set up to where you can have that sitting in front of the witness just have the audio coming directly off of the iPad because you'd be in a conference room or something like that preferably um, if you're going to be in that kind of scenario with you and the witness now, right now that might not be optimum <coughs> but I'm going to talk about what you could do in the future have the iPad sitting there you could have a microphone sitting by the iPad <clears throat> between the iPad and the witness 
<clears throat> some kind of high gain microphone <clears throat> and have that microphone plugged into your line in because you'd be in a confined space and then it would just sit in front of your iPad and your witness and you could hear everybody just fine then you could take your audio line out from your recorder and go directly into perhaps your USB Andrea and then into your computer or straight from here into your laptop depending on how you want to set up your device <clears throat> I've always enjoyed using this USB Andrea because uh, it, it just has always provided uh, good sound along with uh, my tape recorder to go into my computer for my digital audio file this is a zoom h1n uh, recorder and uh, I just I've only had it for maybe a year or so I've been really impressed with it the nice thing about it is when you turn this thing on and you've got your microphone plugged in on the line in and your audio coming out your headphone out uh, whether you press record or not if it's just turned on you're getting audio and you can hear it through your headset <clears throat> and what I do in court is I have a splitter that plugs into my line in and I've got microphones around the courtroom and I've got a splitter that goes out to different places in the courtroom and then I come out of the other side with my other splitter that I had showed you this one here and this is the one that has that audio uh, mono tip on it <coughs> I plug it in here <coughs> Then I take my audio out from one side and go into my USB Andrea into the pink microphone jack and then I plug this into my computer. I've got a second plug here where I plug my headphones in and because I have microphones around the courtroom I've got them up at the bench and I've got a couple up there that are high gain and because I've got my headphone jack here I put my headphones on when there's a bench conference and I can hear just fine without having to get up and walk up to the judge. This works really nice and if you wanted to just have speakers on your Zoom conference without a headset, you could do something with just a microphone, uh, maybe some nice speakers in your room and uh, be able to hear well and uh, record that way also. But this is what I was trying to show everybody uh, on that Zoom video, but I apparently with that computer I was using, I didn't check what I needed to check correctly and kind of frustrated me. So hopefully this will, uh, this will help explain things better. So to kind of recap, I've got a couple of uh, splitters. This is a three-way splitter right here that uh, I can use. I've got a two-way splitter and I've got a couple of more uh, I've got extension uh, audio cables if I need them uh, that have uh, the male end on one side and it's 15 or 20 feet long and then it's got a female end on the other end so I can take the male end and plug it in here and extend it out to wherever a microphone might be in the courtroom or if I had to spread one out somewhere else <laughs> So that's kind of my, my setup with uh, how I would do Zoom either using a headset with a splitter on the output so I could uh, split the audio that I can listen to and also that I can uh, then send it to a recording device or devices if necessary depending on how your setup is. So I hope that helps uh, kind of explain a little better what I was trying to explain before and I'll uh, get this uploaded for y'all uh, here shortly. Thanks.